Life in a flowing river can be tough, especially without being a strong swimmer like trout. Rivers, though, are home to a great diversity of macroinvertebrates, arthropods that can easily be seen with the naked eye if you look for them. Most are rather strange looking, and some have truly nightmarish features. Few, though, are as creepy as the larvae of megalopterans, known as helgramites. Helgramites are perfectly adapted to fast-flowing rivers. Their flat head and body give them a low profile on the underside of stones. On the underside of their body, there are feathery gills, which allow them to diffuse oxygen out of the fast-flowing river and into their bodies. They have six strong legs that they can use to move around and hold onto rocks. In addition to these, they have special clawed appendages at the back of their abdomen called prolegs to give them extra grip in strong current. The Helgramite's most noticeable feature upon inspection, however, are the fearsome mandibles. The mandibles of a carnivore. They feed on a variety of small aquatic invertebrates which they snatch up with these powerful jaws. When confronted by a predator, or another Helgramite, they can use them for defense. Their eyes are rather small, and because they live in darkness under river rocks, vision is not their primary sense. Rather prominent along the abdomen are the lateral tactile filaments, which allow the Helgramite to detect any creature coming at them from behind by touch. Despite their monstrous appearance, Helgramites are rather delicate creatures that require pristine, well-oxygenated water. They are generally intolerant of pollution, and so their presence or absence can indicate the health of a river or stream. It takes years for Helgramites to grow to the size of these individuals, and this long maturation makes them particularly vulnerable to pollution or even overcollection. They are prized as bait by fishermen. Megaloptera are fascinating because they are among the most basal lineages of holometabolous insects. That being, they go through a distinctive larval, pupil, and adult stage, but are not as derived as more famous examples of insects like this. When a Helgramite has grown enough and is ready to mature, it leaves the water and goes into a non-feeding pupal stage in the moist soil under a rock or log. Unlike the chrysalis of a butterfly, however, this pupa retains its legs, and so is motile. It also retains the fearsome mandibles so it can defend itself. Eventually, the adult insect is ready to emerge. Known commonly as a Dobson fly, they are very large, impressive flying insects. The female, like this impressive tropical species in Costa Rica, retains the large mandibles of the Helgramite. A male Dobson fly is slightly different, with the mandibles becoming tusk-like, long, and curved. They use them to impress females, but also to spar with other males. Adult Dobson flies only live a few days, but hopefully in that time are able to make a mass of eggs that hangs over the water, with tiny Helgramites preparing to hatch. Thank you for checking this video out, I really appreciate it. On this channel my goal is to create quality short documentaries that educate viewers on the natural world with the hope that they will inspire outdoor exploration and conservation action.